So let's review real fast, informal and formal. Okay, in case you were gone or don't remember. Okay, so we'll divide it up. On this side, we'll put two. And two means you. Okay? Um, so I'll put parentheses, you. I don't know, I think I'm going to use my finger. And on this side, I'll put usted. And usted also means you. Okay, they both mean you. There's two ways to say you in, in Spanish. You can say like you and thine or whatever, or it's thou or something, but it's not really like that in English, I guess. So, Now, the abbreviation for usted is just U-D, okay? U-D. So if you have a C-U-D, don't say ud, just know it's usted. It's the abbreviation, because it's a common word, so we use it all the time. Okay, tu is the informal way. Give me a scenario, a situation when you use informal or two. Right. Yeah, friends. What else? Who hate him? Yeah, family. So like family, right? Family plan. Um, when else would you do it? Uh, junior. What? Oh, familiar situations. Good. Um, anyone your age or younger? Uh, I'm writing with my finger, and I think it's worse. So I think either way, it's going to look like a three-year-old wrote it. <laughs> or any familiar situations in general, right? Let's do some examples. What have we seen so far with the... Informal. Como estas? Y tú? And como te llamas? Okay, any questions so far on the informal? If you have any questions and you're watching this on YouTube, you can go ahead and make a comment in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, uh, usted is formal. It also means you. Get a Spanish English dictionary, look up the word usted and it'll say you. Look up the word tu and it'll say you. They both mean you. But you might find something that says in parentheses formal or informal or familiar or something like that. Okay. Um, you use usted to show respect or authority. So respect. Or authority. Oops. Okay. Someone older, right? Or anyone older than you? Besides friends or family, right? Those you always are formal with. Um, unfamiliar situations, right? In general. Thank you. Okay, example. So, como estas? The way to say that in a formal way is como esta. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, e tu, the way to say that formally is e usted. And como te llamas, the way to say that formally is como se llama. Okay. Now I can go down here at the bottom with this list, I can go on forever and ever with all these questions and phrases. Anything that has you or your. So like, what's your favorite candy bar? Uh, how many brothers and sisters do you have? What class do you have next? I can go down and I can make an informal way to say that question. Then I can make that exact same question, but a formal way of saying it. Okay? Informal and formal. There's two ways to say every, every question or phrase with you. Right now you have three of each. And that's about all I'll teach you this year, but it can go on and on forever, okay? Any, any other questions on that? All right, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.